How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to take a look at the potential alternative to the console.log method inside JavaScript. So right here we have the console.table method. So this one is very similar to the log method where it will actually display your data but it's going to display it as a physical table as opposed to a traditional expandable object style. Um, so as far as I know right now it will only work with arrays and objects inside JavaScript. So um, let's see a live example of this thing actually working. Um, so inside the HTML for this document, it looks like this right now. So we have the opening and closing script tag. So we're going to just define a new array inside here. And then we're going to call the table method to actually display that array. Um, so let's define a new constant called this one a short for array equal to a new array. So we pass in here a few strings. We can say um, a decode, YouTube, uh, JavaScript, and my name, Dom. So we have this array right here of four strings. We're going to call the console.table method and pass a into that. Okay, so I can, I can save this and then refresh the browser. And in the right side here, we see the array displayed as a physical table inside the console. So we have the index here, 0, 1, 2, 3, and obviously the values on the right side. So that is what the table method does. You also get um, a uh, expandable version of the array, um, just like normal. So, um, you know, sometimes if you're, if you're working with, you know, small arrays or just, um, you know, very simple data, this can be a very useful tool um, to help visualize the actual information that's in your arrays or your objects. Um, so um, let's see an example of it using an object instead of an array. Um, so back inside the HTML, let's now define a new object. So we can call this one, um, let's just say O, equal to an object literal. Okay. Um, we can just say something like uh, name as a property equal to DOM and age we can say is 65 years old. Um, we can also say um, has a job I do so I can say true inside here. So I can save this actually let's pass O inside the table method so put O inside here. So I can save this and refresh my browser and now um, we get the actual property names as the left side of this table. So um, that is the method using an object. And once again, we get the actual traditional expandable object style underneath that. Um, so what happens if you actually put uh, multiple multiple objects inside the one? Let's find out. So we can say, for example, um, let's just say uh, hair. So my hair is a color of black. And we can say that the style is quite messy. So here, color black, style messy, a nested object inside um, this one. So I can save this and refresh. And now we get this right here. So it tries to fit in all the information. Um, it's not bad, but you can imagine if you had a lot of objects inside one object, it's going to get quite clustered um, very soon. So um, as I said, it works only on arrays and objects right now, I believe. Um, if I was to pass in a string inside here, let's just say um, uh, Dominic, for example, inside here as a you know single string, I can save this and refresh and we get nothing. So right now, um, it's only for objects and arrays. And to be honest, that's probably what it's useful for. Just those two data types right there. All right, that is the console.table method inside JavaScript. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.